So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the Coleman CT100U back wheel off. Let's get started. So first off, I just wanted to let you guys know that the, the bolt that's holding this wheel on is actually going all the way through to the other side. So you're going to need one size right here and the other size right here. Since this is a 14 millimeter uh, bolt that goes all the way through, I'm going to be using a 14 millimeter wrench that goes right here. On this side, this is a 17 millimeter nut. So I am going to take a 17 millimeter socket and I'm going to put it on there. Like this. Okay, so I have my 17 millimeter socket and I have my 14 millimeter wrench. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wrench on this side of the bolt and then I'm going to put my 17 millimeter socket on the 17 millimeter nut. And I'm just gonna gun this and I'm gonna hold on to this wrench at the same time. You might need to turn up the speed. Like so. And here's the nut right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the whole bolt out of the uh, wheel. Okay, so the pole is right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it off. Just be careful because there are some washers and some spacers on each side. So just make sure that you catch them all in the mouth. Okay. Spacer, put that down. I wanna slide this. And then there's gonna be another spacer. right here and then there's just going to be another washer on the side of the bolt which you don't need to take off which is right here and then what you're going to do is you're just going to slide that wheel off just like so <coughs> so this completes my video on how to take the Coleman CT100U back tire off of it the tools I used were a 14 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket with a uh, impact driver I suggest using an impact driver because it's really hard to get it unscrewed if you just have two wrenches. So this concludes my video on how to uh, take the tire off. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.